Welcome everyone. Thank you for attending today's webinar on being client focused and growing your firm with Perfect Portal. We'll be running a live Q&A at the end of the webinar. So we've enabled our ask a question feature. You will find this at the bottom of your screen. So if you have any questions, just pop them in there. And if you miss anything, don't worry, we'll be sending around the on-demand recording when it's available. I'm Sasha, the National Client Relationship Manager here at Perfect Portal, and joining me is David, Hi. Um, who I'm sure you already know. Um, this webinar is all about how you can use Perfect Portal to enhance your client's brand experience throughout their journey with your firm. We have launched many new features over the last couple of months that will provide you with the ultimate flexibility you need to reach out to your target audience. According to... Okay, according to the 2019 Legal Trends Report, the firms that have achieved the high growth over a sustained period of time have been able to do this due to two critical factors, a focus on in client experience and also on firm efficiency. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on enhancing the client experience with Perfect Portal. We will host another webinar on increasing your firm's efficiency at a later date. We are in the digital area era, and our clients are basically in the digital driving seat. Clients nowadays expect the same level of communication and efficiency in our industry as they do in any other industry that they interact with. No longer are we just in competition with other practitioners in our industry, but our clients are comparing our service, our timeframes, our interaction, and our level of communication with that of all other industries that they deal with. That's right, technology has pushed us to be in, in competition with all other industries. Customers now want and expect a high quality, personalized service across all platforms and commu communication outlets at all times. Not only that, but our customers have found their voice. No longer are they afraid to speak out on our social media channels, have enabled them to be heard across the globe by millions. In 2019, Mobile searches have generated 27.8 billion more queries than desktop searches globally, making mobile customer experience a priority. It is vital that you consider the client journey and experience in order to stay relevant and competitive in today's digital economy. Customers are prepared to pay more for quality. 86% um, of customers are willing to pay a premium price as high as 18% for a great customer experience. Now, in most cases, you will need to provide this experience online or in digital formats without in-person contact. We pay premium um, for services on a regular basis. Um, we pay extra for next day delivery on Amazon or especially in ASOS in my case. Um, we pay extra to board a flight ahead of everybody else and even pay extra for a premium dining experience. Just think about the last time you paid extra for a better experience. Now, firstly, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you uh, the perfect portal features that can really help you become more client focused to win new business. And then I'll pass over to David, who will um, talk to you about once you've won the business, how you continue to re remain client focused thereon. What I'm gonna cover um, today is I'm gonna look at the automatic SMS text facility at quote level. I'm gonna show you how you can add a solicitor bio um, into your correspondence. So basically you can add the face to your company to help build that connection with your customer. I'm also gonna show you um, how to enable automatic reminders. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with how to do these. And then we're also gonna to touch on the new email banners um, that we've just released recently. So. As you all know, you only get one chance to make a first impression. So it's really, really important that we get it right. Um, what I wanna look at first is the different ways that the client can obtain a quote from your firm. They can contact you directly from a referring agent or they can do it through the website. So firstly, let's have a look at your website. When people go onto your website, they basically wanna see if your business is unique and um, what services that you offer, but it's also important to mention your expertise to give the consumer confidence in your ability. And um, they like to know who the team are, so you can add this somewhere on your website so that they can actually put a face to the name. Um, we also, you should have on there also any unique attributes or details that set you apart from your competition, such as maybe if you've got the branded client app, you could maybe pop the video on there, or you can even detail how you like to communicate with your client, um, if, via email or SMS, or you can even have the client login portal. 
it's, a, it's really important to give a clear sense of what your firm offers and make it really easy for them to navigate. Your customers need to get the right balance with having enough information so they can right, make the right decision. For example, here, looking at flexible hours, fix, fixed fees, etc. More often than not, consumers will not contact a company for missing information. They'll just simply move on to their, the competitor. So this is where the website calculator is invaluable for consumers that are looking for a quote. So it makes them easy for them and they can basically self-serve. So as you can see here, they can click on um, instant estimate here or they can generate an instant quote here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop in um, the client details. Um, this is um, included within your subscription. Um, so just bear with me. Okay, let me just pop some information in here so you can see it's nice and easy. What you can do here then the client in can put the purchase price if they were to know that property and um, they can put in the number of buyers. Again, if you pull your searches through with InfoTrack, you can pop a property address in if they were to going to pull through. In this example, I'm going to leave it blank. Then we can ask the questions, are they a first time buyer, etc. This is just determining stamp duty and what the client can do there is they can click get quote. What that will do for them is then it will pop up um, their fees and their costs uh, nice and easy for them there. Now, I do appreciate that some firms don't want to display their fees on the website because they don't want to their competition to know what you're charging. Um, I'll be really honest with you. I'm sure that you've probably been mystery shopped before. Um, but again, what you can do here, if you don't want to actually include the full quotation, you can have this facility so it's more like a form fill for the client. And what would happen, you would get an automatic email as soon as the client's been onto your website um, for some information. What you can see here, is um, they might want to make it really nice and easy. Um, and you've got the call to action here. So let's say, for example, the buyers, the person on your website has actually just found a property to buy. It's really nice and easy for them to click to instruct now. So you, you've got a captive audience, so why not grab them at this point? Or they can choose to email a quote to themselves just within here. Um, what you will happen is if the client was to um, click email quote, um, they will get a quote sent to themselves instantaneously and you will receive directly into your inbox a warm lead notifying you that the client has been onto your website to generate a quote. Then what you can do is you can determine how you want to contact that client. Some firms I've got want to pick up the phone straight away. Other people choose to just send a follow-up email with the client basically saying we've seen that you've generated a quote, would you like any further information? It's really up to you how you wanna do that, but again, it creates a great first impression from the customer. I did touch on earlier that we have just released the SMS facility um, within um, the portal where you can send out an SMS as soon as the client's generated a quote. This can also be attached to the website calculator. So if they generate a quote on there, you can automatically follow up with an SMS and I'm going to show you how to do that shortly. Um, just before we move on from um, the website, I think it's also really important to have any third party um, validations on your website, such as client testimonials. Um, David will show you shortly um, the customer satisfaction survey, um, which can help you capture such testimonials. But it's really important because what customers have said about your service really forge the underpinnings of trust for any new potential clients. So 79% of clients actually expect a response within um, 24 hours. So if the client uses your website to generate a quote or they phone in, or even if they get referred by one of your agents, it's really good to get a branded quote out to the client. You can do that within the portal within a matter of minutes. So what I'm gonna show you, I'm sure you all know how to generate a branded quote. Uh, I just wanna show you um, what that would look like for the client and also how there's a click to action. So as you'll see here, I have um, got within here the um, branded quote that I've just, um, the client's just called in and I've just generated the branded quote and I've just emailed this out to Emma. What you can see, there's a nice call to action here, making it nice and easy. So if they do want to instruct you, they can click to instruct there. 
You can also um, now tailor make all these headings on your email designs. And um, so it's really consistent with your brand and clients like to associate with brand. Also, um, as you can see within here, um, you've got the email wording and you'll also note um, at the bottom of this email here, um, you now have the option to add a solicitor bio. So you can put a little bit of information about um, yourself or whoever's looking after the matter. So it really gives that like human connection for the client and it makes your customer just feel at ease and build that trust. This is really easy for us to set up and I'm going to show you how to do that. And as you're all aware, you all can have the branded quote just here. So this is the look and feel. Again, I'm sure you've all seen this, but just to show you what was to go out to the client. Okay, and you've got the nice matching cover and end sheets on the back there. Now, what I want to do is I just want to show you how you go about setting up the bio. So it's really nice and easy. I'm sure some of you have already got your avatar, your image here. So if you haven't, it would just display your initials. If you were to just click on here, it gives you the option here. So if you wanted to add an image of yourself in here, you can do that. Once you've done that, we then need to go back into here and go into my account. And as you will see on the left hand side now, you have the option here to do my biography. And within here, you can type in any information about yourself, as I've mentioned, just giving them some trust, maybe about your qualifications, length of service, even what your hobbies are to just give it that little bit of human so you come across as, you know, very trusting in the human nature. So what we can do um, here, that's how you create your bio. Um, you can use the bio in numerous places, whether you want to put that in your email templates, it also can be displayed in the client app. And David will show you that a little bit later um, when you actually, when he shows you once you've won the business. So what I want to just talk to you about now is um, something which I'm not really sure if everybody really does use over here, but you can actually give your real estate agents and mortgage brokers the ability to uh, generate branded quotes on your behalf. Um, please don't worry, they can't um, amend your pricing or any of your email wording, so you can have that confidence there. But what it really does is it gives the clients that little bit of extra trust because they're trusting the real estate agent to maybe sell or purchase their biggest asset. So if you give your agency option to generate branded quotes on your behalf, it gives the clients a trust in your firm. Um, as, you, as they've already built trust with the agent, what, what would happen if they were to generate quotes on your behalf, you would get notified straight away that they were to do that. And what you can do is if you just go into your referrer part of the portal, you can just enable this on the right hand side and they can generate quotes on your behalf. I'm not sure of many people that really utilize that at the moment, but it is a great feature. What we have got going is, and I know that people do over here, is that the agents do have the ability to send you leads. So what you can do is you can actually create a referred email that you can send out to your clients. Now, I don't know whether you're all familiar with this, but what you can do is when the lead comes in, you can then send out a template um, detailing um, where the work's come from. So it's come from Sasha at Biddle Estate Agents and just basically showing your strong working relationship with that real estate agent. What you do within these email templates is the BB code um, will pull through the referrer's name, the referrer's um, branch, et cetera. So you don't need to worry about that. But again, um, this is something really easy to do and David and myself will happily show you how to do that. Um, we did just touch on the different headers. Um, as you can see on the referred one here, you've got the let's get things moving. And um, what you can do within here, you can change all of these templates. Um, if you just go over to your settings and you can go into general and within here, you have the option to have email design. So what you can do, um, you can have a different email header for the different types of works. So if it came through as a website quote, you could have a different header, as you can see here. If it was referred, you can have a different email header along there. Um, we have covered this previously before um, in a couple of webinars, but we have actually put a video in the support center. If you just head over to the right, what you can see here, there's a whole host of um, videos that we've recorded. And if you can just, sorry, things going a bit too quickly there, you can just see. Just won't 
you can just um because the the email templates just here you can email um the design and allocate them so it's there so it's nice and easy for you to have a refer back to there but as mentioned david and i would be more than happy to do that for you and with these um enhanced headers um you can obviously design your own if you were to actually subscribe to our enhanced package then our marketing department create all those email banners for you for private work web work preferred work and it, that's really consistent with your brand and if you were to have the client branded app if you do want any more information on, on how you go about doing that please don't hesitate to contact david or myself so let's just say now you've sent the client the quote um, what we want to do now is let's delight those customers with a follow-up SMS when you send them a quotation. So what will happen, um, as you can see now, is what you can do is you can send, every time you email out a quote, you can choose to send out an SMS uh, straight away to the client saying, thank you for inquiry, we've just emailed you a quote. That's automatically sent as soon as you send the email. You can also choose to um, send a follow-up email. So if the client actually hasn't read your email um, or opened your attachment, the system will be able to work that out for you and it's fully automated. So it can send a follow-up um, during a chosen time frame of, of your choice to remind the customer that you've just sent them a quote. Um, and what you can do is you can really personalize these text messages. So as you can see here, it says, hi, Jane. Um, so what it does is it really easy to attract their attention and I'm sure you'll all agree um, a lot of us do glance at our mobile phones a little bit more often than maybe looking at email so it's a really quick and easy way of grabbing their attention and it also by sending out such a quick SMS it really it shows not only you're efficient but also thoughtful and it creates a great first impression of your firm and you know this is kind of the level of service that they're going to get if they instruct you. Um, so what I want to do is I just want to show you how nice and easy this is to set up. So what we do is we just head back into the portal. Okay, and we just head over to the settings tab in the bottom left hand corner. And then we go up into top right and tell the setup and manage. And if we click in there, you will see along the top now you've got the option for SMS management. And you just pop in there. And what you can do is on the right hand side, you can see here, you can tick and allocate if you want this to go instantly um, or whether you want it as a follow up or you can choose to have both. You can customize this word into the look and feel of your firm. You can make it really personalized by um, including any BB codes, which you just action um, at the top there. And you can put the client's name or your name, etc., in there. Um, just to highlight on there as well, um, you can actually there's a charge of 10 cents per sms that's actually sent out and there is full reporting within the portal um, with all the sms management which david will show you towards the end so once you've sent out the sms to the client um, and you sent out the quote now what you want to do is now you've got them interested you maybe want to follow up on that business so what the system does is you have automatic reminders so if you just head over i'm sure a lot of you are familiar with these so you just head over into general and you can click on your reminders within the system there. So as I've said, once the quote's been sent, never miss on an opportunity because within Perfect Portal, you can set daily reminders and chase features, which will be sent directly to you or to your team's inbox. And you can choose the, the, choose the length of time that you want to be reminded at. So again, you can see whether it's one day, two days, etc. So you can decide your frequency. Once a quote has been generated in Perfect Portal, whether privately, um, by a referred or by your website quote calculator, you'll automatically receive notifications for seamless tracking and follow-up, ensure, ensuring maximum efficiency. It's likely that you, when, when you send a quote as well, that your potential client has requested quotes from maybe a few other lawyers. So if you're compete, competing against other firms, we want every possible advantage to stand out from your competition. So following up on your quotes, just demonstrates your, demonstrates your business's commitment to customer service. Um, your client might not always remember you, but if you remember them, um, I'm sure that it'll help you win more business. Um, as I've mentioned before, with these automatic reminders, they can be sent as an email directly into your email box each morning. You can also choose to have an additional tile on your dashboard, um, 
provide to your team each morning. And you can also, if maybe if you're speaking to a client, um, they say to you, I'm actually going on holiday, can you contact me in a couple of weeks? You can actually send set an ad hoc reminder um, reminding you that the client's gone away on holiday and how great would that be if you follow them up asking them how the holiday was it just shows you that extra level of customer service so um now i've now you've won the business and um, what i'm going to do is we're now going to pass over to david and he's going to talk to you about being client focused as for you to secure that business Thanks, Sasha. Yeah, so as Sasha mentioned, I'm just going to go through how once you secure the business, how you can follow up with the client and, you know, still be client focused. Um, I guess the first part in that is having the call to action button. So I guess I'm just going to go through now and show you how that all looks. So it's going to go to a past quote that I've generated beforehand. And as Sasha mentioned before, you do have that click into instruct button. So if I was the client, I'm just going to hit that click into instruct it will just bring me to a prompt message and it'll just say, thank you for instructing us on being in contact with you shortly. So, you know, through doing this, um, you're showing to the client that you're very technology forward. Um, you're allowing to, you know, you're converting the business easier and faster and you're grabbing the client while they're hot. So as soon as you get that instruction to email, you can call the client, convert it, push it over, do your key stages. And that's where the key stage is coming. So those key stages, all that communication that goes out to your clients and your related parties. So I'm just going to go ahead and head it back into Perfect Portal. And I'm just going to go into my key stage settings, which is in your settings, set up and manage, uh, key stages, and it'll bring up your list of key stages here. So um, I'm not too sure if you guys are aware or not, but we have released a new feature with the key stages, making them more personable than ever, um, allowing you to break down that communication to fit the brand and, you know, fit your brand and your feel. Um, so I'm just going to go in here, for example, and show you how to set these different key stages up. So essentially now with these key stages, um, you have a master key stage name. So for example, for this one, I have first letter and forms to sign. I can now then break that down and customize those key stages to any related parties. So for this example, I have it set up for the client. So I can now add any BB codes, so the client's first name, any you know, referred details or anything like that. Um, so the client is actually seeing your brand. Um, I guess the main reason why we did this is to you know, reach your clients on an emotional level. So they feel a personal connection with you, sort of like a friendship. They're your go-to on this matter. Um, and then from there as well, they'll continue to be loyal with you and they can even spread, you know, word of mouth and, you know, give you more clients. So, yeah, so if you do have any questions at all around the key stages, we do have videos in the support center. But, yeah, always come to Sasha and I if you do have any questions on those. Now, with those key stages, it does obviously trigger your app. So I'm just going to go um, and show you a bit of information around the app. Yep. All right. So with the app, clients are willing to pay more for an experience rather than a service. It's shown that 74% want to know the full process of their matter. And this is where the app comes in. So pretty much the app allows you to allows the client to see a clear and easy, easy visualization of their matter progression that is user-friendly and easy to navigate around. As part of the enhanced package as well, that Sasha mentioned earlier, you do have the option of the app being branded, um, which allows the client journey to be consistent to your brand and making your service very memorable. Through the app, the client receives these key updates, um, allowing them to track the matter whenever they want. Their matter is in their hands. No more you know, calling you up, finding where everything's at, they can log in, see straight away where everything is at. Now, with the brand app as well, there is the um, client review, also known as the client satisfaction survey. So with that client satisfaction survey, um, collecting feedback from your clients is very important. It can help with promoting your brand and also for performance management within your team. So this client review is basically the client can give you a rating out of five stars um, and also give you some free form that wording. So with that wording, when you do receive the results back, um, if you know if the surface wasn't 100% or you do notice that you got you know four stars instead of five, um, this is where you can follow up with 
the client and do any corrective actions that needs to be done. On the flip side, if you do get positive feedback and great, you get fantastic service and highly would recommend, you can use that feedback, pop it on your website, pop it on social media, and then pretty much the whole cycle starts again. Word of mouth is the best way to market yourself, talking, getting your name out there and you offering a premium service with the app, something that can track is definitely a one way to win more business. Now with the client review, this does come through with your um, reports. So I'm just gonna show you where these reports are within Perfect Portal. All right, so um, any client reviews are, can be allocated in your report suite, but I have allocated one just on the dashboard for this um, demo demonstration. So as you can see, um, Jane Corner has given this campaign star five out of five, <laughs> which is great. Um, and then from there, you also do have any other reports within the system. So you can click on Jane Connor and then that will also break down in your different um, ratings you receive from any past matters as well if they did leave any feedback. So any you know, written um, communication, they'll bring them back up there. You can easily press that matter. It will take you directly into the matter so you can see who's looked after the matter and if you do need to take any corrective actions from there. Um, a great way to also know how well you're going with your ratings is in your bio, just at the top, a little picture of yourself. You can see a quick overview of how you're going. Um, Sasha did mention a bit earlier on regarding other reports, especially SMS. So I'll just show you where those reports are within Perfect Portal. So they are just in your control center, just here on the left-hand side. If you do just access the report suite on the top right, scroll a bit further down and we do have the report just down here. So the SMS content and cost details and that will break down all your SMS. So, from there, with the dashboard, you can customize it to put any reports on there. So if you did want, you know, any email open rate, so you can manage that as well, as well as customer um, engagement, which you can see just here. And your conversion rate and all that. So all of this is customizable to fit what you want to see first. Um, but if you are being client focused and want to focus more on that, having the client review feedback and the client engagement success report is a great way to monitor that. Um, so yeah, so that's how you retain being kind focus um, when the matter is secured. So I'm just going to head back to Sasha and she'll finish off for us. Okay, thank you, David. Um, we just wanted to know, um, did anybody have any questions? Doesn't look like there is any questions. Okay, well, we really hope that you enjoyed today's webinar. As um, we mentioned, David and I will be running these uh, quite frequently, just with them, um, with a lot of enhancements and feedback from our clients. So, um, please look out for these webinars um, and 